Hello everyone, it's Kay here and I'm here today to share another special something. Um, as a lot of my subscribers are aware, I now do some design teamwork for Artie Mays and I am absolutely thrilled to be doing so. And Andrea, Artie Mays, has recently put together this vintage Christmas carol set. It's not for journal making exactly but it is absolutely gorgeous and lends itself to all manner of things. You could, for example, just use the, the music sheet for background on tags and that kind of thing. There is an array of different um, Christmas carols, the real traditional, some I hadn't actually heard of, but then there's writing to go with them below the... Um, work to say who had found the music, who had put the music to the carol words and that kind of thing. Um, there's obviously been a bit of research done here because Andrea also is very much aware of copyright issues and that kind of thing. So I know she will have gone through it all, but it it is music paper that is already coloured as you can see so you wouldn't have to ink too much around for collaging and that kind of thing um, but what I've done is made a vintage carol junk journal kind of thing it's not junk journal in the truest sense but I'll share it with you so you can see what I mean and literally all that has happened is that I've turned these full sheets into pockets and then put them into a junk journal so without further ado I will share it with you the music also comes with tags and um, other festive images and I've also used bits and pieces from the Cardinal Altoid, Altoid, Altoid kit it's a Cardinal bird and TN envelopes, I think it was. So I'm hoping I'm covering all bases here by telling you what I've used. But if you go to Andrea's Etsy shop, you will find anyway the um, kits that I'm talking about. Very, very reasonably priced. So I hope this inspires you to go and have a look. And here is my little Christmas carol um, journal and it was such a pleasure to make. I've used corrugated paper purely because of the fact that it is a, a vintage look and I've tried to be true to that. I've not used laces or anything. I've kept it very very simplistic. The only thing I've allowed myself to do is have a bit of free reign on glitter. I have mod podged um, a napkin. This is <laughs> this is all I've got left of what I was using and, and true to um, anyone that mod podges with napkins you just peel the backing off and then anchor the napkin onto the, the, the medium that you want to use. I've done a little wrap around closure but I didn't want it to be too significant because it's not a huge junk journal but I have inked around in, in the hopes of ageing. I've got this little elasticated closure here with the dingle dangle on it just to act as, as a safeguard to keep it all closed together. This image here is from the um, altered Altoid tin and it's the cardinal bird with the Christmas rose and another flower there. I have glittered up the berries that were on the napkin, layered up again with an extra layer of the um, corrugated card. I love working with corrugated card. Raised up the image on a bit of this red holographic card, another bit lying around on my desk from previous projects. And then I just distressed it with... Um, vintage photo from Timmy Holtz there and for my side bit just to take away from 
the pamphlet stitching to hold the pages in I just made some of these lovely little baubles to hang off the side with some crochet yarn they're all tied on quite significant, significantly so they can't be pulled off and then they are absolutely plain on the background and then when you open up the journal you're immediately faced with the pocket scenario. I've left this page absolutely clear. God rest you merry gentlemen, you've got the words, you've got the music and then I go into the pocket scenario. So this is page one and in here I've made a lovely little booklet and inside there are some tags which I'll probably put in other pockets actually but they are absolutely glorious and they come as extras within these lovely Christmas carols they're all different Santa Claus with his little Christmas tree and you'll see I have glittered them to give them a little bit of interest and then this tiered little notebook affair which is just stapled in using the coffee dies. I've not inked this bit because I don't think it needed it and that then just nestles in this lovely pocket that has been pamphlet stitched in and just fills the gap there with the little thumb pull and there's another striking Christmas image with the poinsettia an envelope here that is just anchored on. It is empty but clearly you can store things in it Christmas related and that just gently slots onto that page anywhere you like. It's just a, an addition to break out the print but again it's not just the Christmas music there's a lovely angel here all the words to the carols so if you're a traditionalist for Christmas these papers would please you very very much indeed and I think what I'll do is just pop a little tag in there because I can I've not put the um, string on it yet but I, I will do then we turn the page again and there's another image another pocket and it is the size of the um, whole page so there is oodles and oodles of room for storage there you can see it goes right down to the very bottom where I've just anchored have I or did I miss that one no I need to I need to anchor that one so another tag can go in to that one so it fills up quite evenly. Another beautiful, beautiful envelope. I absolutely fell in love with this. I love the two little birds there, the Christmas baubles, the Christmas scene in the background. And then you just cut out your envelope. Again, it's empty, but great for storing up little bits and pieces. Post Christmas, you might want to keep some gift tags safely or, you know, make a few notes about who to send thank you gifts to or just to use it as keepsakes for special things that you don't want to lose. Another pocket here and because the papers are decorative, you really don't need to add a whole lot to them to make them interesting and just fill up your journal and again here, I'll pop this Santa one in that one there so that's all of the tags utilised and I will just put the cord in the top there to keep it all happy. Two more pockets here, again the illustrations on this are gorgeous, I just loved it. Tiny little tuck spot here and then we come on to a little flip corner, it's not overly done. It's actually quite plain and quite simplistic but I quite like that. If there are things that you want to add to it you're not going to detract from any of the papers. There is then another set of two smaller tags there and then using the coffee dye paper I've just added some more oops little Christmas bits and pieces not onto every page that's a little wooden angel there with December 25th 
the stag's head. These are all anchored down fully. You wouldn't be able to use them as tuck spots or anything like that, but there is plenty of scribble room. The lovely little angel there down in the corner that fits in beautifully with the coffee staining. Central ropes here so you could tie on bits and pieces if you wanted to. Maybe there's a special gift tag that you wanted to keep that with someone's name on it that you want to hold close. The, uh, another poinsettia, Santa Claus again, all fussy cut out. Tiny little robin here wishing you a berry Christmas. Another one down here. And then this lovely little may your Christmas be merry and lack nothing sentiment at the top. And then on the back, another little flip spot which is ultimately plain just for doing a bit of doodling on. Two little um, postcard size for the uh, journaling aspect of the Christmas rose and the poinsettia with the music all backed on craft card. And that just fits in there like so. And then as a finisher, this glorious winter scene with the Christmas celebration carol, which is one I don't know, but over that has been put the beautiful birds on the branch with the chapel in the background, which I thought was absolutely gorgeous. So I'll leave that with you. I hope, as always, that I've inspired you and given you food for thought. Journals don't have to be overly done. You know, you can just put in things that you like, that you want to keep and just enjoy going through periodically when the mood takes you. This is going to get a little bit ropey and I don't quite know what to do about that because it is all glued down. But I'm guessing that it's just going to add to the overall ageing of the journal in, in due course from... Oops, opening and closing. This little bit just really does slot on here. It's a, you can take it off or not as you please. I'll just put that down there and then anchor over the front. And there's your closure. Pop that underneath. And that's the closure, which it works really, really nicely. So, as I say, do pop along to Artie May. She's got some phenomenal Christmas papers in there in a season where perhaps, if nothing else, you're looking for papers for cards or collage or whatever it is that you enjoy doing within the crafting world. So thank you very much once again. Take care everyone. Happy crafting and bye bye for now.